Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 25th January 2023. My name is T.S.V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hurry bowl T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar. Please subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. In this particular vlog, in my previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through our study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe. Today's video is no exception to that rule. It is actually only a continuation of what we have been doing in my previous videos. For the past few videos, we have been talking about the authenticity of famous English proverbs, including the last one being, appearances are deceptive. You cannot judge a person by his or her appearance alone. In that process, we have talked about the introduction part and we have also cited a couple of case histories to prove this point. Today, we shall talk about another such case history. It is as follows. There was a very common a commonplace person who lived in a middle class locality of New York in a common house with his family. There was nothing very attractive about every, anything about this person. Actually, this person looked like a flower seller. Act, probably he was one who owned a flower shop. He was of medium build, 5'6 or 5'7 in height, slim, and he looked like a sharp featured wax doll. Nobody who was passing by in a road where this person was walking would give him a second glance because so discrepant was he. It would not be surprising if while he was sitting in a grandfatherly figure in a chair, some toddler would toddle up to him climb up his knees, 
sit on his laps and have its apple cheeks pinched by this kindly old man or so it looked because the proverb appearances are deceptive come to the fore here this man was no kindly old man he was actually the head of the most feared and awesome crime family among the five crime families of newer office times he was none other than carlo gambino this person's family was so powerful and successful that it had 500 or so members and associates working for his family either in new york or united states and the entire world this guy was actually filthy rich and most of his members and associates were equally rich a fearsome awesome bloody violent and murderous it is said that his family alone had committed at least 500 murders this man carlo gambino was so powerful so charismatic so intelligent that another crime figure who was the legendary lucky luciano the father of mafia in new york had predicted in the 1930s and 40s even long before this man headed his family that carlo gamino is likely to head the commission of mafia provided he kept his pecker down that means that if this man was patient enough commission means the board of directors of all major crime figures which decided on how to run the organized crime in new york in america and in the rest of the country they were extremely powerful and they decided on the life and death of several important crime figures carlo gambino was so powerful that he had very many underworld criminal plus legitimate businesses under his own control he had his uh, dirty fingers in many of the construction businesses trading firms manufacturing companies etc and he operated through his own associates and members carlo gambino was once the second in command to the man who was fearsome and was called the mad hatter and his name was albert anastasia albert anastasia was not as benign looking as carlo gambino but he was also not satanic in looks either in fact his own boss was also quite ordinary looking we shall 
continue with this video or this story about Carlo Gambino in my next video tomorrow. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from T.S. Raghavan.